The battle for Bahmut is coming to a head with intense fighting that has made Ukrainian troops vulnerable to Russian attacks. As the back and forth fighting in the city continued over the months, Bahmut holds became a rallying cry for Ukrainians. Regular Russian army troops and fighters from the Wagner group of mercenaries have advanced further into the northern suburbs of the Bahmut, which is now a Ukrainian-held salient vulnerable to Russian attacks on three sides. Today, a new video shows the moment a Ukrainian drone destroys four Russian tanks and nine armored vehicles near Bahmut. The fiery explosion also killed 31 Russian soldiers, according to a telegram post on Saturday from Ukraine's security service. The footage of the drone strike comes amid a series of setbacks for Russia. Rare aerial footage also shows heavy fighting between Russian and Ukrainian soldiers. In footage released by Kato Combat Group, Ukrainian soldiers attempt to storm a Russian bunker in the Cyclops position. Ukrainian soldiers are seen charging and throwing grenades into Russian-held Cyclops trenches in footage of the horrific attack near Bahmut. Ukrainian drones were also seen dropping bombs on Russian soldiers hidden there. From that incident, Ukrainian troops managed to paralyze 18 Russian Wagner soldiers, and eight other Russian soldiers were detained. Last week, another Ukrainian drone also recorded dramatic video of several explosions at a Russian-occupied building in Bahmut, a city that continues to be the scene of heavy fighting. As seen in the video, Ukraine uses American-made joint direct attack munitions JDAM with its bombs and uses its limited supply to fire on Russian troops without experiencing close combat. During the day, soldiers of the State Border Service held their positions and stopped to attempts to break through assault groups of Russian invaders in Bahmut. As reported by Ukraine Forum, the State Border Service reported this on Facebook. In Bahmut yesterday, military personnel of one of the border units stopped to attempts to break through the attack groups of invaders through the defense line. One attack was repelled by our defenders in the morning and the second in the evening, the message reads. As noted in the DPSU, the attack was preceded by a massive artillery preparation of the enemy, which was followed by small groups of infantry. Despite the exhaustion from shelling, the border guards met the attack aircraft with concentrated fire. Skirmishes took place in an urbanized area at extremely short distances. Border guards fired at the enemy with small arms, and hand grenades were used to clear the area. As reported, the Ukrainian defense forces eliminated around 190,960 Russian invaders, while 450 people were killed in the last 24 hours. Today, the Ukrainian armed forces shared the Ukrainian commander's stunning moment against Wagner's thugs alone in a crazy fight for Bahmut. The astonishing footage, posted by the Goner Company of the Da Vinci Wolves, shows the moment they come face to face with the Wagner group. The footage, believed to be from earlier this month, opens with a Russian attack on a bunker in which Ukrainian soldiers are taking shelter inland adjacent to the 0506 highway. In the footage, the Goner company is urged to the first trench after a Russian grenade explodes at the mouth of their shelter, prompting the commander to scream. Orcs have jumped in. The term orcs, in reference to Lord of the Rings, is what Ukrainians often call Russian soldiers. The company commander then proceeds to shoot his way out of the shelter and onto the land above, shielded only by the cover fire of his soldiers. He proceeds to shoot two Wagner mercenaries attempting to advance on the positions of his soldiers below. After reloading multiple times and eliminating the immediate threats, he calmly says to his soldiers, Guys, come to me. He then orders the other soldiers to the right trench. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
defense structures that Russia is erecting on its own and temporarily occupied territory of Ukraine underline the deep concern that the armed forces may make a major breakthrough. As reported by Ukraine Forum, the British Ministry of Defense reported this on Twitter with reference to intelligence data. As noted, since the summer of last year, Russia has built one of the largest systems of military defense structures that no country in the world has seen in many decades. These defensive structures are located not only near the current front line but also deep in the territories currently controlled by Russia. Russia also dug hundreds of kilometers of trenches deep into internationally recognized Russian territory, including in the Belgorod and Kursk regions. In Bahmut, According to Russian media, a mobilized fighter of the Russian armed forces collided with foreign mercenaries from the Ukrainian armed forces. In a special operations zone near Donetsk, a mobilized Russian armed forces soldier, who heads the group, shares his experience hiring foreign mercenaries who have joined the Ukrainian army. According to the soldier, the Russian military suddenly burst through windows into the building where there were people with white ID bands on their sleeves. At first, the Russians mistook them for their comrades in arms. However, when they began to find out where these warriors came from, panic swept over the soldiers. As a result, a shootout ensued, during which it turned out that the mercenaries communicated with each other in English. During the battle, two Russian soldiers were injured, and the troops were forced to retreat. However, the mercenaries also left the battlefield in a panic. This incident was described by a mobilized fighter in a conversation with a military expert. To date, there are a large number of foreign mercenaries from 50 countries of the world on the territory of Ukraine, but it is not yet possible to give exact figures.